Hello friends, I've just come back from the annual plenary of the CCCB, so that's the annual gathering, meeting of all the bishops of Canada, Catholic bishops of Canada. And uh, this year we were able to be gathered together. Uh, we were in Cornwall and it was so good, so good after the last two, three years, you know, pandemic and all of that, to be together. Um, to uh, be able to be around the table discussing things, to see each other's eyes, read each other's body language, um, you know, laugh, uh, reestablish those links of friendship and of cooperation of fraternity um, as we uh, guide and lead the church in Canada, as we are shepherds together. And uh, many, many things to discuss that even could have been discussed, um, but we chose within the three and a half days to have one full day on all things uh, indigenous, the relationship between indigenous and non-indigenous in our church, um, in Canadian society, um, the ongoing question that uh, takes up the mind and hearts and energies of many, many, many people and should in some way indeed engage all of us. If you remember, a year ago it was the discovery of the graves, unmarked graves at Kamloops, at Kawasis, and really the whole question was, well, what part did the church have in the residential school system. Um, we all knew and had heard certain things about residential schools, but the question really was, what part did the church have both in what happened, but especially in going forward? And so that's what we, we discussed. We, of course, uh, took the time to look back on the past uh, 12 months and uh, the two key moments uh, within that past year in terms of all of this were of course the visit of the delegates to Rome in um, late, late March, early April and the visit of the Pope here, uh, Penitential Pilgrimage, Edmonton. Quebec, Iqaluit. And just reviewing that in the sense of, okay, what was said and done, what evolved or not in, in those visits, by those visits, but especially where are we called to by what was lived together. And um, the Holy Father is such a gift to the whole church, but such a gift uh, to the church in Canada at this time and on this matter. Uh, we will need to come back again and again to his words, to his addresses, and especially come back to those images of, of him embracing people, kissing hands of, of elderly matriarchs, of taking time in his wheelchair before the, the cemetery in Musquatches, praying, all of the things by which he really, once again, showed himself to be present, to be open, and to be focused on, out of Christian char charity and love upon those before him. And so, those images, those words, um, really fed and, and guided our discussions. And our discussions were uh, about the walking together, about the going forward together. Um, we talked about things like, for example, uh, the use of our church archives, but uh, more specifically our sacramental records, baptisms, uh, confirmations, funerals, um, in parishes 
near residential schools. Uh, it's a source of information for the uh, indigenous about the children who came to those schools and at this point now especially those who did not return. Um, we talked and we talked also then uh, about pastoral letters um, being shared with the indigenous, with the Inuit, with the Métis, and with all the people of God. Um, and so it being our reflection, our sense of this matter and how to go forward. Uh, we also spoke of the um, the thirty million dollar uh, campaign and how that was to be uh, used uh, in each diocese, the, the criteria, but very much that the money raised in a diocese is for projects in that diocese. Um, uh, we also spoke about the doctrine of discovery, um, and I'll come back to that later on. Um, we, we spoke in general then also about how do we structure ourselves as CCCB so that all these, the matter of indigenous relationships at every level, that it be a continual effort, a continual concern and focus, a continual evolving discovery of how best to live that. Um, it's not, this whole matter for the CCB, for all of the bishops, is not a one-off. Um, it's how we need to go forward. And so um, I'm going to leave you with that and simply say that um, in the coming months and through our various uh, ways of communication, that um, I'll be unpacking the various elements, the various commitments that the bishops of Canada in consensus have taken on. Um, I think part of it is very much ourselves coming to understand our part. And again, something that was so strong at the, at the plenary, our part is first and foremost our part locally, diocese by diocese, um, bishop and church of a diocese with the indigenous communities, the indigenous people of our diocese. So much more to share with you, but I come out of this uh, plenary um, hopeful, grateful, and this especially grateful for the work, the ministry of Pope, John, of Pope Francis amongst us. Um, doors are being opened. Pray for those doors to continue to be opened as we walk together. Thank you.